Hey YouTube, how's it going? Uh, welcome to another tutorial by myself, Jester. This is Jester's Tutorials. Uh, I've been searching through Google to try and find myself some decent PNG pictures of barbed wire, but I can't find anything to my, to, that's to my spec. So uh, I've had a bit of a play around on Photoshop and caught up with a way of making my own barbed wire. First thing I'm going to do is temporarily uh, I'm going to make the background black. Okay. Then what you want to do is grab your pen tool. Make sure it's on freehand, uh, and this doesn't have to be neat at all. Okay, uh, I'm drawing the line now. What I should have done first is make a new layer, but that doesn't matter. Uh, I'm going to make the new layer now. Okay, uh, I'm going to change my four color to gray, like so, and then I'm going to right click. Sorry, I'm going to check my brush first. I'm going to make sure my brush is on about 9 pixels uh, then I'm going to go back to the pen tool I'm going to right click, stroke path uh, make sure simulate pressure isn't checked and ok, okay so that's created this uh, line across there that isn't very neat but we don't want it very neat at the minute press the delete key to get rid of your pen line then go to effects, bevel and emboss and use the standard effect that comes up just go straight to OK. Create a new layer. We're going to go ahead and create a new line with the pen tool. Um, it's got to be quite close to the one that you'd already done, but it doesn't want to be identical. Uh, this is the core of our barbed wire. Okay. Right, so now we're drawing a line, right click, straight path, make sure that uh, simulate pressure isn't checked, and press OK. Uh, again, we go down to effects. Bevel and emboss with the standard bevel and emboss. Okay, and press the delete key to get rid of your line. Okay, now that doesn't look like much at the moment, but we're going to go ahead and start creating our bobs for our bob wire. Okay, so we're going to come all the way down to uh, this end, and this is by far the most time consuming part about it. Okay, uh, we're going to create a new layer and we're going to get our brush tool I'm still using the same grey and I'm at 9 pixels and I'm going to draw the bobs okay now this doesn't have to look amazing at this point uh, you'll see why and how we adjust it in a moment uh, it's just got to almost look like it is you know going, going around the core of the cable uh, we put a couple of spines up one up there one up there and let's put one down there as well and at this point we're going to bevel and emboss it like we did before this time you're going to want to play around with it a little bit just to get it to the point that you actually want that doesn't work quite as well so we're going to increase the depth uh, makes it a little nicer there but it's a bit too peaked so we're going to soften it as well okay uh, and maybe just tickle the size a little bit way too much okay about there is what we're looking for okay press ok on that then go to the eraser uh, you want this to be at one pixel and maybe zoom in a little bit more on your barbed part of the uh, wire right and we're going to draw our detail in like that now again this doesn't have to look amazing uh, we'll make it look a lot better in just a few moments uh, but this is just pretty much so you can get the definition and the idea of where that barb starts and where it ends Okay, then we're going to take the eraser tool and make it a bit bigger. This time we're going to go to about three pixels and we're going to spike off these uh, little uh, the bar parts here because obviously Bob White is spiky, it is aggressive, it is dangerous, it is pointy. We like pointy. Okay, now what we're going to do 
is we are going to duplicate that layer. We're going to drag it down to uh, the new layer icon at the bottom there. Uh, that's created the new layer. Now what we're going to do is press Control T. That's going to select it. Then we right click over the top of it and we flip it vertically. Okay. Now let's adjust that slightly. The point where we want it. Okay, so I'm just revolving it a little bit and then positioning it over the other one to create this almost knot effect, if you like. Okay. Hit enter on that. Now what we want to do is we can close down the eyes on the rest of our layers just so we've got that bob. Now if you press Control, Shift and E together that's going to uh, put the visible as one. So you've just created that entire bob like so. Okay. And if you want to you can just get rid of some of that extra detail there on the side where it might not be wanted. Now we're going to duplicate that a couple of times. That's how duplicated and we'll zoom out a little bit for this because what we're going to do is if you grab your select tool we're going to move it up the line like that and you can always go back and do your fine detail a little later on. Okay. Uh, also if you don't want them all to be the same control T and flip the whole thing vertically there we go so it's now a little more twisted and you just put it into the position where you want it how you want it to look so about there's pretty good yeah I'm liking that because the barbed wire isn't identical all the way down right and you keep doing that all the way down your line until you're happy with it so I'm just going to go ahead and speed this up uh, just while I do that bit okay so this is where we're at at the moment uh, recognizable I believe is uh, barbed wire next thing we're going to do is again zoom right in on our barbs create a new layer uh, we take the brush tool and yeah about three pixels uh, is good and you want red because what we're going to do here is like I said this is quite aggressive and nasty this is uh, blood we're painting on now this doesn't have to be neat or anything like that because of what we're going to do to it in a few minutes okay it doesn't have to be on every spine but make sure you put blood on some of your spines because we do want this to look aggressive okay so uh, I'm going to speed it up just while I do that so once we've got our barbs all nicely covered in rust there we're going to go to the little um, drop menu which technically is a lift menu I suppose because it goes up uh, that says normal and we're going to get to overlay okay it's going to give it that nice sort of dark effect to it but that's still not dark enough for what we want so we're going to go to blur uh, and blur it all out really quite a um, heavy blur on there we're using a hundred percent and we're just rubbing it all over the red there and you see how it makes it much darker and much more believable there you go okay and there we have it barbed wire now all that's left to do is to get rid of your background your black background if you wish to uh, and save that as a PNG file okay save that as a PNG file that's all you're gonna have and you'll be able to drag that into other pieces of work and everything else um, for now I'm gonna save it with the background so you can see what it looks like uh, in full uh, but thank you very much for watching this video uh, I hope you enjoyed it um, I'm very excited to see your guys' results on the barbed wire uh, and what you're going to do with it. Please send, my, uh, please send me your video responses uh, to what you do with your uh, barbed wire. And rate, comment and subscribe and we'll see you again next time on Jester's Tutorials. Bye bye.